Hey yo, what's up my future AI experts? Let me show you in this tutorial how to load your model and how to classify the single images using this model, which you already have trained and saved as a file. Um, and yeah, in the previous tutorial, I'll show you how to actually save your model, how to save the best model, which gives you the best um, testing data set accuracy score. Okay, guys, let's get started. So these are some ports which we are going uh, to use in this tutorial. And here are our classes. So as you know from the previous tutorials, our model can classify 10 different monkey species. And here we created an array, uh, a list, uh, which stores all of the classes which this model can classify. And we store them in the, in the same order as they appeared in our data set. So N0 belongs to this one. N1 belongs to this one. Um, yeah, this data set also comes with some uh, labels as well. So um, as you can see, all of them match. So make sure that the order of your names, the classes names, is correct. Because after that, you will need to map everything. Okay, dokie. So let's hold the model basically in the same folder as where our Jupyter notebook is. Uh, we have the our model as a file with the PTH extension. Um, let's just hold it. Okay, before classifying any single images, we will need to define some image transforms. And we need to use the same ones which we have used while we've been training our neural network. Um, so we will need to obviously convert everything to tensor, but apart from that, we will need to resize to the same size which we use for the training data set, because as you might remember from the previous tutorials, we resized all the images to be 224 pixels by 224 pixels. So our neural network uh, has been trained on, on this image size, and it knows how to classify the squared images. So we need to make sure we resize um, our images to be the same as we use for the training uh, to get the best performance. And also we will need to normalize in the same way as we did while we've been training the neural network. Okay, so same resize size as we used for the training, um, same started deviation and mean values for normalization. Um, if you haven't seen already, make sure you watch my tutorial about how to calculate the mean and start duration of your own custom image data set. And of course, we need to convert everything to tensor. Okay, now we are ready to write a function which will classify the single image and will say to us to which class does this image belong. Okay, so this function will take as an input the model itself, then the transforms which we have defined here, uh, the path of our image, and the classes with all the labels. The first thing which you should do with your model, once you have folded it, um, you need to make sure that your model is in the evaluation mode so that it will not train and it will just evaluate your images because we don't want to do anything else apart from the evaluation right now. And to get the best performance, we need to switch it uh, to the evaluation mode. This is important, guys. After that, we can just basically open the image. Now we need to transform this image. Also make sure you convert it to default. Okay, the next step will be to <clears throat> change the shape of our image a bit to make sure our neural network will accept it. Okay, now our image is ready for the neural network. Now we can just pass this image to our model and uh, get the index uh, of the class to which it belongs. Okay, so right now predicted is uh, a tensor, but we can just convert it to, to a normal integer and just print it. Um, but it will just print us the index, so let's else uh, uh, just map uh, the index with the proper value from our uh, classes list. 
Okay, so in the same folder as where this Jupyter notebook is, I have just like three images, which are not from our data set. I just found them on the web. Um, so let's check if we can classify them correctly. Let's, for example, start with this one. Okay, I think the name matches, so this is correct. Let me run this thing, this one. Yep, this was right. Perfect. Let's check another one. Um, maybe this one. Perfect. <laughs> it classified this one correctly as well. And let's just do the last one to make sure that it actually works. Just to double check. Let's try to classify black headed night monkey. Perfect, guys. Um, I think that's it for this tutorial. So we have learned how to load your model and how to classify the single images. So this is, will be like more useful for some kind of production and you know, making maybe a product of your model. Um, I hope it, it was useful. Thanks for watching guys. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and have a good day. See you guys.